BoxingBoys.com live here with Callum Smith, WBC Emeritus Champion and the WBA Super Champion at 168. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, five weeks always, always good and all my hard work's done now, so I'm just chilling out and a bit of media obligations to do and then I'll get down to business Saturday. You're looking in great shape. Um, yeah. How's camp been? Yeah, it's been good. It's been, uh, I've had a good camp and I had a good rest after, after winning the titles and then good to get back in and you know, get, a, get a fight date to focus on and you know, I've, I've, become, I've become a champion but now I want to cement my place as the best in the world at the minute and I start that on Saturday night with a good win and hopefully an impressive win. It's funny that you say a good win or an impressive win because boxing's gone from the best to who's the most popular, yeah. who sells the most tickets, who can draw people in. You've actually been semi-chosen or at least thrown your name in the hat with Canelo Alvarez and it seems like they may or may not be looking your way. At least looking at your division or above with Sergey Kovalev, what's your thoughts on the possibility of that? Yeah, listen, I've, got, I've always felt that. Now I want to be involved in the big fights and as long as I do my job and I keep winning, then the big fights will come. If my next fight's Canelo Alvarez, then so be it. If not, I'll keep winning and at some point he's going to run out of opponents at middleweight and he's going to want to step up to super middleweight and hopefully when he does do that, I'm the only possible opponent for him. I've just got to keep winning and cleaning out my division and making sure I'm the best in this division and I believe I'll beat whoever is in the division or whoever steps up into the division. Who do you see as your nemesis in this division? Who do you think will be that big fight with Calvin Smith? I don't know. So obviously Canelo's the big name, but he's a 160 at the minute. There's a lot of good fighters in the 168 division. A lot of unbeaten champions. Caleb Plant's a good fighter. Benavidez a good, good, good fighter. I believe he'll beat Anthony Dell and get his belt back. And you know, they're two very good fighters who I do see potential fights with down the line. And they're big fights in my opinion. And they're the fights I want to be involved in. Are those fights that should take place in the states? Or you think it is better fitted for them to come to your hometown? Either I don't, I don't mind. Obviously, I think I've shown. This weekend, I don't mind traveling, I don't mind fighting in America, I love fighting at home in the UK, so I just think whatever makes the most sense for them type of fights, and you know, I'll go wherever it, it, it's at, but I believe I'm the best in the world, and I believe I'll beat whoever's in front of me. You spoke of getting an impressive win, unfortunately boxing is, we want knockouts. Yeah. The fans do, the broadcasters do, yeah. and a knockout kind of helps your popularity grow because it goes viral. Yeah, Nowadays, the knockouts on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you can't hide from it. Yeah. Dominic Brazil shut down his social media. Yeah. How important is it to you and is it any added pressure to look for a knockout? Uh, no, I think the, the main focus is always to win however way possible, but it is always nice to get a, a knockout. As you say, people leave, the, leave the, the event and speak about the knockouts on the show and if you're one of them knockouts, then you'll see your you want to hold shows on Instagram over the next few weeks and stuff and that gets your name out there and makes you more popular which obviously helps in boxing as we said earlier so I always look to be to win and look to be exciting and to get people to talk about me at the end of the night and Saturday night's no difference I'll be going in there to put in a good performance and knock Hassan and Dan out. I think with your win over George Groves you solidified yourself as uh, one of the top champions in this division I think Caleb Plant done that too with his win over Ustazegui. Yeah. Um, it could be questionable about Benavidez because I believe he won his belt from Brazil, but yeah. we see his yeah. grit. Uh, who do you think is the most feared, or are you the person that they would fear to get in the ring with? Will they, will they choose you last to unify with? Possibly. I think I may be, but you know, I believe I'm the best simulator in the world. If you ask Caleb Plant, he'd probably say he is. And same with David Benavides, he probably believes he's the best in the world and that's why I'd like them fight. They're the fights I want to be involved in and I want to cement my position as the number one so there's no questions and you know, no debate or, or, or for it. So over the next year or two, they're the fights I want us to cement who the best human weight in the world is. Now obviously those fights, a, couple, a bit of politics, some of those guys are on different networks. So if there was a name in the division that you could still get an opportunity with, doesn't have to be necessarily um, a hundred percent active, but you know, like yeah. George Groves was yeah. the name. Not, I'm not saying Fraj, he's definitely too far yeah. removed, but is there someone in the division other than the, other than the current champions that you have your eye on? Uh, not really, no. I say it's just I've always just had the, the the same attitude, just keep winning. I've got a very good team around me in matchroom sports, and whoever they put in front of me, I'll beat and. I've done the hard part to become a world champion, so I don't think 
cementing the big fight should be as tough now. I've got a belt and you know, I'm ring magazine champion, so people should want to fight me. So I don't feel I should have to call people out to get fights now. I'm considered number one in the division. If anyone else wants to take that place, then they can come and fight me. My last one, I know you're a busy man. Do you think that you'll be able to unify, become undisputed in this division before you get too big for the division? Hopefully, that's the plan. You know, the next that I become world champion, the next step is to unify. If I do that, then I'll have two out of four belts. So I'd love to try and get the four of them. That's something that you know, there's only a handful of people who've ever held all four belts at once. So I'm about achieving goals and setting myself goals, and undisputed is definitely one of them. If I can do it, then you know, we'll see. If not, then you know, it won't be for lack of trying. But 175 is an option in the future. I've got a big enough frame for it, so you know, I can become a two-way world champion at some point. Too. So there's a lot of options for me and a lot of goals I've set myself in the next two years or three years is about achieving them goals. Can you put that into like fights or time? Like, Do you have two to four fights left? One no, listen, I'm left? Off, I, I just turned 29 last month. I've had 25 fights. I've had many tough fights. There's not many miles on the clock. I feel young. I feel fresh. And, I believe I can, I can stay at the top for as long as I want. Oh, I good. just want, I want to be involved in big fights. They're the fights that excite me. They're the fights that motivate me, and they're, they're what keep me in boxing for as long as I can. Are you the tallest in the division? Possibly, yeah, possibly. <laughs> very tall. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Calvin Smith. If you have any social media you want to give out at this time, yeah, please do so. Calvin Smith 23 on Instagram and Twitter. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace